On the third day of Navratri, we worship a form of goddess Shakti called Ma Chandra Ghanta. After Sati died, Shiva went into a deep meditation in the mountains. During this time, a powerful Asura, Tarak Asura, showed himself. The gods feared him because he had a boon that only Shiva's son could kill him. To ease their fears, the gods prayed to goddess Shakti and asked her to take birth in their world again. They asked her to marry Shiva once again. Goddess Shakti was born to Himavan and Mena. They called her Parvati. Parvati carried out a deep penance which pleased Shiva and the pair decided to get married. On the day of the wedding, Parvati's mother had been excitedly waiting for the groom. She pointed at nearly every male who entered Himavan's palace and asked for their name. Eventually, when sage Narada pointed out who Shiva was, Mena fainted from shock. Shiva had come to the venue in a terrorizing form. He had ash smeared all over his body and lots of snakes surrounded him. His marriage procession included ganas, ghosts, sages and Aztecs. Many other guests fainted as well. When Mena woke up, she began crying and cursing everyone in the room. She could not bear the thought of her daughter marrying such a terrifying being. Parvati did not want her family or Shiva to feel embarrassed. She transformed herself into a petrifying form called Chandra Ghanta. In this form, Parvati prayed to Shiva and begged him to change his form into a more lavish one. She asked him to dress up his marriage procession as well. Shiva and his marriage procession appeared before everyone else again, this time much richer and suitably. Shiva looked like a handsome prince and wore many jewels. We celebrate the wedding of Shiva and Parvati each year on Mahashivratri. This is the story.